Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching The Abyss. What do you know about this? From the movie poster, it's an underwater film. Yeah. Uh, we know it's a James Cameron movie. Right. It's pretty much been recommended on every James Cameron movie. Yeah, so far pretty much every James Cameron movie, The Abyss is all over the place. Yeah, it's all in the comments. So I'm excited to check it out. I guess just because it's a James Cameron movie, I'm imagining that it's like an underwater aliens okay. like type vibe. So like a little bit of horror, not much, but like a touch of like thriller horror and then a lot of sci-fi. Yeah, maybe a little dash of action or something like that. Yeah, so. So, I mean, it, it should be pretty interesting. I mean, this is a movie that I've never heard of outside of this channel. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, this one kind of flies under the radar um, just on a personal level. Mm -hmm. So many people have recommended it that, you know, clearly people like it. Clearly mm -hmm. there's a big fan base. So yeah. James Cameron never disappoints. So it should be a great time. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, and also for early access to our videos, you can find the link to our Patreon in the description. And with that, let's get into the movie. Well, that's cool, like you're already going down, like the trench. Yeah. I mean, I know James Cameron's like obsessed with the ocean and like the depths of the ocean. Yeah, I am scared. I am not a fan <laughs> of the ocean at all. I mean, it's a real unique signature. No cavitation, no reactor noise, 80 knots. 80 knots? Pretty sure that's real fast. Yeah. 130 knots, sir. Oh no. Oh my god. He's just scraping the whole sub. They're going down. Yeah, what do you even do when a submarine sinks? Die. Launch the boy. Was I supposed to pull them up? No, I think that might just be a signal to to show where they crash. Oh, damn it, they didn't get it closed in time. Just like that, gone. You're cleared to land. Oh, oh whoa. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah. From Shit's Creek. Yeah. <laughs> Look who's with them. <laughs> Queen bitch of the universe. Oh man, she's got a reputation. Catfish, yeah. Get them old bones up here and give me a- All of this is so terrifying to me, just to be <laughs> underwater. American nuclear submarine. You can get your rig in under the storm beyond sight in 15 hours. Bonus is equivalent to three times normal dive pay. Yes, sir, Ooh. buddy! <laughs> there you go. We're oil workers. This is oh, a pay <laughs> Don't you speak for all of us. Is this real? Is this like real technology where they can just have like an underwater office practically that they just tow around? It's huge. It even has license plates? I can't believe you're letting them do this. Hi, Lynn. I can't believe you let them grab my rig. Your rig? My rig. They're holding a pink slip. I go where they tell me. <laughs> you never could stand up to a fight. Bye-bye. I'm assuming an ex-partner. Probably shouldn't have married her then, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> Wonder if they're still married. I mean, it looked like he had his ring on. That's true. Three, you're clear to launch. Oh, she's going down. Oh man. Floor, this is cab three. We are styling. My claustrophobia could never. No. Is that you, Lindsay? <laughs> Budge. The bad news is we got eight hours and this can blowing down. It's gonna take us three weeks to decompress later. Jeez, eight hours in this room, three weeks on the way back. High pressure nervous syndrome, muscle tremors, usually in the hands first. Station. In a partridge in a <laughs> That's John Connor from Terminator with the mustache. <laughs> Did not put that together. No, he looks I... very different with a mustache. For some reason, he always looks like just different enough. Yeah. From Terminator to this and uh, Aliens. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. I don't remember putting a wall here. <laughs> He's gigantic. Uh -oh. uh oh. Of course, let's keep it quiet. 
Skippy, you're going to give that rat a disease. <laughs> hi, Linz. Mrs. Brigman. Not for long. <laughs> oh, hi, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> some people like her, some people hate yeah. her. I was worried about the rig. Well, you have to have priorities. Ouch. S-E. He's getting that back. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Down. Yeah, what good is the money six months later your dick drops off? <laughs> follow those orders without discussion. Is that clear? Great start. I know, right? You mean you got liquid in your lungs? Uh, can I borrow your rat? What, what are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Wait, no, 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 no. He's taking the fluid into his lungs. He looks real bad, man. Now he's starting to relax. She's doing it. She ain't digging it. All right, let her out now. Oh, See, man. it's fine. It's a she. Two and a half miles straight down. Oh. Two and a half miles straight down. Cap one, do you have a visual? Oh. This is already scary, and I forgot that there's some kind of something down there with them. Right. Document as much as you can, please. Whenever they like start taking photos in a movie, you're always gonna see the photo later, and there's gonna be something horrific on it. It's 192 warheads. How powerful are they? Five times Hiroshima. Oh my god. So casual about it. Right. Shit noises make me nervous. <laughs> I mean, even though this thing is sunk, it can still sink more if it falls off that cliff. Yeah. Oh. Alright, we knew we were gonna see this. Just move on. Let's stay cool. Stay cool. If you find someone, how do you even go about rescuing them? I don't know, maybe it's one of those things where you like share oxygen or something so you can get them yeah. out of there. I don't know. Oh. I'm taking you back out. Let's go. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. You do not seem okay, man. You hold on the end of this rope here. You have any problem whatsoever, you tug twice. No, that's just setting up for disaster. What a perspective. Uh, I still don't even know. Like, is this supposed to be a horror movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely in horror. Oh, no. <gasps> no. What is that you? This is like just a different type of stressed. Whatever it is, like the music when it shows up is very like angelic and it's like a bright light. Like it, it doesn't seem evil. <laughs> just like what the? A coma could last hours or days. Look, I don't know what I saw, bud, okay? Two Russian attack subs, a Tango and a Victor, were tracked within 50 miles of here. They'll recover one warhead, arm it, and wait for further instructions. Arm it? They think the Russians? Yeah, I guess. Those seals ain't telling us deadly. Hippie, you think everything's a conspiracy. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a goddamn hurricane coming! Oh no. Stop. My people need flatbed to get unhooked at their end. Explosive bolts. One, two, Secret. Three, 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 three. <laughs> so pissed. Hey, don't touch that. Just back away. Excuse me, moi. How many more like issues do they need? Now they have a live nuclear warhead, some sort of creature, and an international crisis plus a hurricane. And a hurricane, yeah. And they didn't even tell them that's what they brought on the ship. <laughs> they don't even know they have a nuke. Can't get a grip on it. Well, keep trying, baby. Shit. <sighs> We got a problem! Oh. oh no. Oh shit, it's dragging them to the cliff. And they're still hooked. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh no, my god. you god. Oh. oh. I 
think they got all the slack they needed. And some. We just lost all the topside feeds. That was all their communication as well. It's on its way down to you! Oh my god. Hopefully this crane doesn't go into the ditch and pull them further down. To help secure the rig. Let's go. All these fucking guys fault. All right, not so bad. Uh-oh. Never mind. Very, very bad. I think that crane's heavier than that ship. Shit. Oh. Oh. No. No, not the rat. That's the door, though. Yeah, but what a hero. He got the rat. Oh. Okay, I think we've lost... Two? Two, two Navy SEALs. Oh, they're, like, right on the edge. Oh, that filled up so fast. No, are they just dead? It's not gonna let them open it. I can't open it from out here! Oh my god. Oh my Is god, the ring? ring? You have to be kidding me. Jeez, they lost so many people. Real glad you picked that back up. I was just oh, about to... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad they got him. Yeah, lucky him. I was under orders. I had no choice. I mean, he used the same excuse earlier. Yeah. But this time, people died. In a few hours, this place is going to be as cold as a meat locker. What about O2? We have about maybe 12 hours worth. Oh my god, just keep piling on all the issues. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Where's, uh... Where's the girl? And that's, the what, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I feel like her name was One Eye, but I could be mistaken. No, something like that. You hit me with that 916, okay? Oh, okay, no. she came back. Cool. Yeah, we don't even know what that ship looks like up there. No, they could be destroyed as well. Hey. Oh no. How is Jack that thing is back. Oh. Mom? Are these living things? Or is this like an alien ship? Just so close to the edge. Whoa. Seems peaceful. Yeah, it seems... I mean, I don't think it's purposely destroying all the power and electricity around it. Looks like a stingray. Mm-hmm. We had a camera this whole time? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. I thought it was gonna flash and like... Freak the fuck out. <laughs> I wonder if she got it. <laughs> Not the best picture. That's a great shot, Lance. <laughs> Drop your dive line. There's something that zigs. Not us. <laughs> Not human. A non-terrestrial intelligence. NTIs. Oh man, that's better than UFOs. Oh, but that works too, huh? <laughs> yeah, I still don't know if it's a, if it's a living thing or if it's like a... Ship. ship or a living ship. They abduct people all the time, man. You know, him, there was do one... me a favor. Stay off my side. Stay off my side. What's hysterical? Nobody's hysterical. Shh. You are the most stubborn woman I ever knew. Yes, I am. It was a machine. It was a machine, but it was alive. It was like a, like a dance of light. Now, I don't think they mean us any harm. I don't know how I know that. And still blue. Yeah. She's the smartest person down there. Yeah. So let's not believe her. I mean, everyone's going to believe her eventually, because I'm sure they're all going to encounter it. <laughs> they're either going to be dead or they're going to see it. But either way, they will end up on her side. Ooh, spying. I mean, I definitely need this rat <laughs> to survive. Definitely attached. I'm already attached to this rat. 
Oh, this is not happening. <laughs> and I'm not being paranoid. Hi, <laughs> Liz. Have you got some wife who's bringing that thing into my rig? You're becoming a serious impediment to our mission. Emergency! 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 Everybody's moving! Do it now! Let her go. <sighs> oh my god, these guys are gonna be such an issue. And he's sick. Yeah. We can't trust them. How many more issues do they need to face now they have a pressure sick Navy SEAL with a nuclear bomb? He's showing signs of pressure induced psychosis. I gotta tell you, man, that guy jarhead robot. Virgil, turn on your side. <laughs> it's coming back. Alright, you're all set, big guy. Is hey, it coming in? Man, this thing can move around no problem. Yeah. And like silent. Out of water. It's already learned doors. Dizzy. Yeah, I know, right? But, but, get up. <laughs> Here's your proof, everyone. Whoa, what the? I don't know if this is cool or terrifying. No, it's terrifying. <laughs> it's just water. What are you, psycho lady? <laughs> uh oh. <sighs> just piss it off. I'm used to him being a good guy, and he's such a piece of shit in this movie. Raise your hand if you think that was a Russian water tentacle. <laughs> they gotta lock this guy up. Yeah. What the hell is he doing? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? They're using Big Geek to take the bomb to the NTIs. What? Hands off, go okay. get it! I know the way. <laughs> I know the way. it will crush this rig like a beer can. Shut up, man. What are you talking We're about? gotta stop him. Jammer. Whoa! Okay? Don't move, Jarface! I'm the least of your problems. Take <laughs> it easy. I'm all right. Huh? I just figured I was dead back there when I saw that angel coming for me. Yeah, why don't you tell us about it later? <laughs> we got bigger problems right now, Jammer. Saw the same angel. Yeah. I'm gonna swim to hatch six. What? In case I don't die. This is insane. <laughs> but I mean, they can get into that room the same way the aliens got in. Have to go to the moon pool. <laughs> it's the only way. Okay. Okay, Cat. You head on back, all right? Oh, I hope he at least makes it back. Look, like he should just let him in when he gets over. Right, when he gets to that yeah. door. Yeah. He's so psychotic. At least he's making noise. He's gonna try and take him out himself. God, he couldn't be that dumb. That guy's a trained killer. You're so close, come on. Just one good swing. No, just hit him. Just fucking hit him. No! Go if you listen. So has the fucking knife, right? <laughs> All right. He needs some alien backup. Oh, he made it! He got human backup. Oh no. I mean, you're that shooting seems like a... maybe not a good idea. <laughs> you're shooting a nuclear bomb. Man, you got an underwater submarine chase now. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Get it tied. Oh, my God. He's just going to ram right into him. 
him up if you can. Climb up. I mean, I guess that's good. Fuck this guy. I'm coming, baby. <laughs> Pantyhose on. Come on. Yeah, got it. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, why is this so much faster? Come on, this is like a juggernaut. All right, a little smoke screen. Oh, that had to fuck his up. What a cool shot that you could, both domes are just right there looking at each other. Bye, coffee. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, that was so intense. <laughs> Thought it was gonna be like a slow fill. <laughs> that was just like crumble under the pressure. <laughs> that was awesome. Cab one, we need a. Okay. It's filling up real fast. And the longer they sit there. Alright, alright. Yeah. Shut up! Put this thing on! You'd be logical. I drowned and you told me back to the rig. No. Be revived after maybe 10 or 15 minutes. No, stop kissing. Hurry. Yeah. I got him, I got him. What? Oh my god, it's Lindsay. <laughs> I was pretty confident that they would be able to do it. Yeah. No! Fight! 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 Right now! Fight! <laughs> yeah! 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 All right, I guess slapping her worked. Man. They really had me believing that she was gone. Mm hmm Or I thought it was going to take that alien thing to save her. Right. When you get down there, all you got to do is cut one wire, drop the weights, and come on home. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Gonna use that special liquid. Mm-hmm. Hopefully you can get all his panicking done up here. <laughs> right, yeah. Relax. Okay, watch me, watch okay. me. Okay, take it in. <laughs> Fuck no. Normal. It'll <laughs> this is normal. Perfectly normal. We all breathe liquid for nine months, bud. Your body will remember. That's a good point. I didn't really think of that. <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> right. I already have. It's a weird way to phrase drowning. <laughs> Man, how do they film that? Can they just film him for like 10 seconds at a time? I don't know. Maybe some CGI stuff? I don't, yeah. I don't know. Just weighted, breathing water, down into... <laughs> the abyss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With aliens. Yeah, but friendly. <laughs> Maybe not friendly now that there's a bomb. Jump off and just fall. That is just so terrifying. Very little scares me more than the unknown of the ocean. Just set a record for the deepest suit dive. <laughs> Pressure effects, tremors, vision problems, euphoria. Got tremors. Lindsay, talk to him. <laughs> Freezing and there's 10,000 feet of water between us. Not the pep top. <laughs> Well, at least he can think well enough to pop open a flare. Just tumbling. Oh, bud, you're not alone. <laughs> Fell better. <laughs> How do you not just like pass that? <laughs> Please tell me you got more flares. Okay, I guess that works. It's the blue wire with the white stripe, not the black wire with the yellow stripe. Uh, <laughs> everything's green. You're just gonna go for it? Oh man. <laughs> it took him 30 minutes.
minutes just to get down there. But then you can't leave me here alone now. Oh, that's so sweet. It's the angel. Whoa. Whoa, taking him down. No way, it's like a whole city? Dang, they're really moving. Words. Hurricane's clear. Yeah. Hey. Hey, it's Bud. Have some new friends down here. <laughs> oh man. Oh, the whole thing. Jeez, to bring up the whole city. Yeah, it's literally everything. It's picking your ship up as well. Jeez, it's massive. Where's Bud gonna come out? He's gonna walk out with his new friends. And they need like three weeks to depressurize. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> we should be dead. We didn't decompress. They must have done something to us. All right, they thought of everything. <laughs> oh, and Mrs. Bigman. Oh, wow. I thought they would do like an alien reveal for everyone else. Nope, just gonna bring him to the top and let him. Yeah, then they start immediately going back down, <laughs> and everyone just has to start swimming. All right. Well, that was the abyss. What'd you think? That was great. That wasn't at all what I was anticipating. No, not at all. Um, I definitely thought it was going to be more like a deep sea alien yeah. monster type thing versus the humans. And it really came down to like people versus people. Yeah. Um, and the alien or whatever we want to call it was kind of second. It had a very to that. minor role, actually. Yeah. 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 Yeah, definitely going in, we both kind of thought it was going to be some element of horror. And the way that it was starting. Um, you know, with the sonar noises and like the exploration of the down submarine and just like the dead bodies and just like the claustrophobia that we had was very scary. Like, yeah. especially when Jammer kind of the rope got cut and like your perspective was from inside his helmet mm -hmm. and you could barely see anything in the heart, like heavy breathing. It was like, oh my God, like yeah. it was stressful, but from that moment on, it wasn't a horror movie. Yeah, it wasn't. It was really the story between Coffee, who just lost his mind. Yeah. And then um, Lindsay and Bud and their team. Right. So yeah, that wasn't at all what I expected, but that was really good. Yeah, super, super interesting. I mean, they threw so many problems. Yeah. There was like, a lot going there on. There was so much going on. Like hurricane, aliens, nuclear weapons flooding like you're literally being dragged to the edge of a cliff of like the abyss inside the ocean like literally a million things went wrong in this but the conflict with the aliens wasn't really one of them no like, not at all the only thing that we thought <laughs> was gonna happen yeah exactly the thing that we thought would be the biggest issue in this movie was the saving grace yeah. of this movie. It was definitely interesting to see the breakdown of coffee with like the pressure sickness. Mm -hmm. And I don't know a lot about like deep sea diving. I don't know if that's like a common thing or something that you need to be like actually concerned about, like losing your mind. Um, I'm sure it is. Yeah, which that's like terrifying to yeah. think of because those were very high stakes. I mean, they were literally playing with nuclear weapons mm -hmm and it was controlled by a madman. Right. I don't know a lot about it either, but that's, I feel like, what makes it even more terrifying is the ocean alone is terrifying. Like, there's so much that we don't know about the ocean. I mean, yeah. us personally, but also in general. Yeah, in general. I think people think that we know a lot about the Earth. 
And I think the amount that we truly know about the ocean is like very small. Yeah. I'm sure someone could like let me know the specifics of it, but we know shockingly little. Like for all we know, there could be a very interesting civilization at the bottom of the ocean and we have just not seen it yet. Yeah. We said we thought it would be a monster or mm -hmm. something, um, but it was an intelligent life form. Right. That really wasn't in the movie that much. No. And it's a decently long movie, but because it had so many conflicts, there was always something that they were trying to solve or work towards. Right. And I really enjoyed all of like the cast. Like everyone yeah. was really good. Even the people that I hated, I really hated them. Yeah, I know. To see from John Connor to Coffee was like, I mean, you said it when we were watching the film. Like it was just such a transition. Like we yeah. were just like, super excited to see him again and then all of a sudden it was like wow you suck like... he sucked in this movie <laughs> he was such a good piece of shit yeah but that was his death that was really cool yeah, <laughs> like, that was intense that was intense i thought kind of when the shield started to crack and the water started to come in i was like okay like like you said it would kind of like maybe just pop and he would drown or something like yeah. that but that was just like it looked like it just caved in yeah. so aggressive that was a very rewarding evil villain death <laughs> yeah no absolutely and they got to like pretty much witness it firsthand yeah they're pretty the much bubbles, yeah, were... The two bubbles are there and it yeah. falls off the cliff yeah. and there's a lot of positives about this movie another one of just like how it was shot i would love to see a behind the scenes of how this was filmed it seems like at the time it must be very creative mm -hmm. some of the things that they were doing i'm pretty sure i've heard that they just pretty much filled up like a incredibly large tank or something like that um, to film everything in but there was a lot of very very interesting underwater shots mm -hmm. that I'm like man how do you even do this on a movie scale right and then the you know the filling the the helmet up with the, the fluid. breathable fluid right that yeah all of that was it was insane I think a behind the scenes type of thing would be really cool to check out yeah that would be really really interesting I don't know how many takes it took to do that rat scene that seemed like a pretty intense real life scene, but I don't know if they, if they faked that at the time that this was made, but it looked like a lot of the stuff in this was practical, which is impressive because it's essentially a movie based, you know, a, a thousand feet below the surface. Right. So just, just the way that it was filmed was really interesting. And I'm curious if James Cameron was obsessed with the ocean before making this movie or this movie made him obsessed with the ocean. Mm -hmm. Because I know in his real life, like he's incredibly obsessed, spends like a lot of his money or time and effort. He's <laughs> he's wild when it comes to the ocean. Um, but it's just interesting to see, like did, it, did this start it or is this a result of making this movie? Yeah, I don't know. I, I have no interest in the ocean in any aspect no. it's terrifying you're super terrified yeah. of the ocean in general yeah like including waves and stuff yeah i'm terrified of like the open ocean like there was one time where uh i was out on a boat like out in the open ocean and i just like jumped off the boat and i was swimming around and i and i was just like kind of swimming down and i remember taking a second to look around me and i saw nothing and it was just it was just emptiness for as much as I could see. And in that moment, I'd never been more terrified in my life because I was like, I literally can see for what I feel is like an infinite amount of time and I see nothing. And yet I feel like there could be something right in front of my face and I didn't know it. Yeah. It was this weird balance of like not really being able to know what the hell was going on. And I have never in my life gotten out of the water faster. <laughs> I like shot out of the water back onto the boat and I was like, okay, something something just triggered me and I'm done with the open ocean. Yeah. So watching this movie in some of these scenes where he, especially when he's just like falling down, like that's just like, and he just kind of fades away into black and just keeps falling and falling, horrifying. And I mean, taking into consideration just on the ship, we kind of talked about thinking maybe there would be similarities to aliens, even though that wasn't really the case. But it's same with the ship. Um, we're dealing with, you know, this tight submarine. Right. If it's a submarine. Well, yeah, just like under just underwater, you know, whatever vessel. vessel sure. um, yeah. And it was it was so tight and going down the hallways. And as soon as they, you know, the whole thing just started to go to shit, like 
we were everything was getting flooded they were having to move themselves into certain areas yeah. and it was like cordoning off those areas absolutely like that was so stressful that's a good point i mean we've seen a lot of the stressful situations in space where like if something goes wrong on the ship you're fucked pretty yeah. much and like you do have to keep moving from place to place and just kind of scrap things together and it was kind of like the same thing on aliens like you said even though that was on a planet mm -hmm. um they were still like running out of uh oxygen i believe like they were still like running out of resources and they still had to you know make their way through this like labyrinth of a ship mm -hmm. or of a building right and this was the same thing just underwater whether you're in space or underwater if things go wrong you're you're done yeah because i i just i never i guess until this i never thought about like what happens if something goes south on a submarine or anything that's fully submerged in the water like you know with the titanic and other these big shipwrecks that you hear of like there's lifeboats and things like have. that like what are you gonna do when you're already under the water yeah and i think that played a lot of element into the fear of this movie but no exactly like when things go south you don't have options i don't think you can like hit the eject button in a submarine yeah it's just gonna shoot and get, you yeah out. get shot in a tube up to the surface or anything yeah like, i think the second you know something's you know not really looking well that's it yeah and i think like that the opening scene of them in the submarine where he was like release the buoy that that's pretty much the same as just saying okay goodbye everyone like, yeah like let let them know this is where where it ended this is yeah this is where we're all buried yeah because it's over yeah so that's just it's super scary to think about but what made this movie super interesting was that wasn't the main focus really yeah. it was like you said it was the interactions with the people in this awkward stressful situation with aliens mm -hmm. which is just wild like we did not go into this movie expecting anything that we that we saw no yeah that wasn't the plot line that i thought we were gonna get but it was really good it was yeah. really enjoyable there was a lot going on like a lot going on there was so much going on but it was very interesting to watch it all play out yeah and it didn't feel like a, a this is one of the longer movies that we've watched and it didn't really feel like it you were kind of in it the whole time and something would get resolved and then something new would happen and the whole time you were just like thinking about the fact that they're just super deep <laughs> they're super deep on the edge of even more deep like yeah. it's just like oh my god yeah like we talked about like i really enjoyed a lot of the characters i mean i really liked bud i really liked Lindsay. You know, that dynamic between the two of them of like an almost divorced couple. The scene where he gets saved by their wedding ring. Mm -hmm. That was so, that was so good. That was really good. Um, Man, the heroic save of the rat in the bag. Yeah. That was one of my favorite scenes. Like he went back for the rat and hey, the rat survived. I know. As soon as he put that rat in a bag, I was like, dude, we'll do anything for this rat. Like, yeah, he, he will die for this rat. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah, that was awesome. You know, a really good villain, too. Yes. Because he did have orders. Mm -hmm. To begin with. Yeah, he had the orders that to take it, to arm the nuke, and that was the backup plan for the Russians. Right. So... Which was never a thing. No. I mean, maybe the Russians were there, but they were, you know, not close or yeah. not the not, not the, a threat. Not a threat. Yeah. Um, but he had real motivation. Uh, plus, he had the pressure sickness, right. which you knew would make him even more crazy. So it wasn't just like, okay, here's a generic bad guy. Yeah. It was a real team of Navy SEALs who were probably super trained. You know thought that they were going on a rescue mission to begin with yeah and you know that's just not how it played out um but regardless you know they ended up or, or two of the navy seals you know did the right thing and the evil one got <laughs> imploded so john connor just got <laughs> eliminated from the timeline i think the part that made him such a good bad guy was how trained he was for the circumstances like yeah. you're not dealing with an idiot here no like he was extremely intelligent he was strong um he was you know lead to his team right so he has their respect on top of it so to really get those guys to just start to distrust him was also difficult right and I think though from the start you knew as soon as he kind of got those tremors were starting to happen 
and he didn't say anything about it, it was like, this is gonna go downhill. Yeah, no, that was our, our first sign of like, okay, something's wrong. Yeah. Did we think that it would be trying to nuke aliens <laughs> wrong? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> a very good cast, very interesting story. The production level, you know, I'm not, I don't remember exactly when this movie came out, but I really enjoyed kind of the sets and the way it was filmed. Mm -hmm. And I, I assume a lot of this stuff was probably pretty revolutionary. <laughs> I know James Cameron typically, you know, makes some um, pretty big jumps in technology compared to other filmmakers. Mm -hmm. He did it with Titanic and with Avatar and probably with Terminator. I'm sure at the time this was probably people would look at this and be like, how the hell they do that? Yeah, Cause I, I mean, see, I'm still looking at it like that. <laughs> I, yeah, there's still plenty of stuff that happened in this movie. That I was like, I don't know how the hell they did that other than literally just go film inside the ocean or something. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. It was another great James Cameron film. Yeah. Super surprising that I've never heard, I've never even heard of this movie. Right. And I feel like it's a great addition to his, his catalog of movies. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all of those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.